that's it. So tomorrow that will be cheese. <laughs> yeah. In the morning it will be soft, but um, firm enough to mill up into little pieces. So we run it through that machine into the uh, molds and salt it. And we fill those up. And there's no pressing for stilton, so it'll just sink on its own over uh, three or four days it's, it spends in the molds. So it just sinks and we turn it upside down every day. And actually, stilton made on farm hasn't existed since the 1930s. Right. So he wanted to bring back this, you know, arguably the quintessential. This is the cheese that everyone gets at Christmas, that is the British cheese, yeah. that people scoop out and put exactly. port in, that yeah. is all, the, it's yeah. such a part of the heritage, and yet you say no one's made it in a farmhouse since? 1930s. It's always been made in creameries, and those creameries started pasteurizing it um, throughout the 50s and 60s, and the last holdout was Colston Bassett, and they stopped in 1989. Right. And that was the last raw milk still on earth. So the idea of this project was to um, resurrect that, that lost heritage. You can see how much they've sunk already, and you can see the, the cracks. That's going to be our blue veining. Yep. Um, what we do is a thing called rubbing up. Yep. It's not as um, sordid as it sounds. <laughs> we just use a, a, like a butter knife, a palette knife, to scrape up the sides and the top. Because if you don't fill in those cracks, it'll start going blue right away. Right. Uh, and it's not the right time. The cheese needs to mellow and age. So you're almost sealing the outside. Yeah, it's almost like icing a cake. Right, you can right. See it now. It's really cool. If you look, these have been uh, rubbed up two days ago. So you can see what I mean. It's like, yeah. like an icing. So you can't see the cracks anymore. So if I go to Colston Bassett, they've got 150 years of cheese making experience. Yeah. You know that they've passed down. So that those chaps know. Oh, in July the milk uh, alkaline is higher, so you need to adjust this and this. this. But we haven't gone through those cycles yet, so we're learning them and trying to react to them as they happen, and that's difficult. But next year and the year after and the year after we get better. I suppose if you make a slight adjustment, it's eight weeks, nine weeks before you know whether it's working. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not yeah. trying to yeah. straight away. Yeah. It's like throwing a dinner party, yeah. uh, but you don't get any feedback for eight weeks. <laughs> oh, it was, it was too much basil or something. <laughs>